Well, it is Pride Month, and as the LGBTQ community celebrates the progress made in the fight for equal rights, Local 10 is shining a light on local heroes in the movement. And today we're hearing from a pioneer, a woman who was not LGBTQ, but stood up and fought for this community when most would not. Local 10's Christian De La Rosa has a story. I grew up as a Jew, so I knew anti-Semitism, I knew prejudice. Ruth Shack was a straight ally before most knew what that even meant. And uh, for me, it was the next civil rights issue. For too long, this community has been uh, victims of not only uh, discrimination, but uh, a long-lived oppression that I think is inappropriate. In 1977, the then Metro-Dade Commissioner introduced and helped pass a measure to protect homosexuals from discrimination. To be gay in those days in Miami was dangerous. I mean, there were uh, constant evening television coverage of uh, police with paddy wagons moving into a bar and hauling a group of men in, in suits, hiding their faces. But the historically progressive law was short-lived. The right of a mother to defend her children and all children against their being recruited by homosexuals. Months later, beauty queen, singer, and Florida Orange Juice spokeswoman, Anita Bryant, rallied religious conservatives. Her Save Our Children campaign branded gays as perverts and pedophiles. Terms so ugly and so mean-spirited, uh, and they gave rise to what was later called the moral majority. The movement forced a vote to overturn the newly approved protections for gays and lesbians, and they won. But the defeat was mobilizing. It allowed our friends who identified as gay to become a community. It took 20 years for the Miami-Dade County Commission to pass protections against discrimination for the LGBT community. I don't care who gets the credit. I'm, I'm just delighted that it finally worked. The gay rights pioneer reflects on the decades of progress since with this message for the younger generations. We have to protect what we have. They have to know that this is their community and they have a responsibility to make it what they want it to look like. I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News. She was a hero. All right, stay with Local 10 for more Pride coverage all this month. Christian will be highlighting important LGBTQ stories. You can also find more in a special section on our website, local10.com.